Good afternoon, dental internet world. My name is Dr. Vishal Sharma, and I'm here alongside my friend and colleague back in Calgary, Alberta, Dr. Mike Parchewski. Mike, we had a great time down at Densply Serona World 2022 in Las Vegas. We're obviously back in our town of Calgary, uh, well immersed in our clinical activities. I had a fantastic conference, Mike. I thought it was energetic. Some of the new technology that was unveiled was really, really exciting and has some interesting applications. Uh, how was your time down at DS World 2022? Um, yeah, I'd have to say that it was a, a great conference. Um, you know, for having been there last year, which was sort of the post-COVID event, uh, this year's vibe was much more positive. Uh, a lot more energy, and uh, there was definitely a lot more people uh, purchasing equipment and deciding that digital workflows were the way they were going, and definitely a lot of energy, and, and uh, energy from the salespeople, energy from um, the Dense by Serona um, reps and colleagues and, and from the lecturers, and everybody just seemed to have that uh, much more positive vibe than, you know, than last year, um, so that was really nice to see, and um, from my perspective, um, it was a big conference. There were some really good keynote speakers. Um, you know, uh, Aaron was up on stage and that was impressive and, um, documenting her journey. And I thought that was wonderful. Um, and my big thing for me, takeaway, I think the prime print getting to see that live. I know you were, you saw that in Toronto at one of the, uh, key opinion leader, um, uh, sessions, but I thought the the prime print was big, and uh, you know, obviously the DS Core was a uh, uh, big announcement as well. How about yourself? Um, you know, there's some new initiatives coming out with Sure Smile. Be uh, doing a bit of beta testing on some uh, new technological advancements, which I think will be really exciting and hopefully unveiled next year. Obviously, pending how well that beta testing goes. Uh, I echo your sentiments. The prime print, lots of interesting applications, which we'll be discussing. Uh, as well as a DS Core, same thing. And to be honest with you, I thought your presentation was fantastic. So I was front row, uh, maybe not quite center, but to the left-hand side. I thought you were engaging. I thought it was well-received. It was funny. And, you know, you talked about a lot of dentists subscribing to um, digital workflows and uh, purchasing uh, capital expenditures or investing in capital expenditures that are going to uh, improve patient outcomes and, and really... Uh, relying on the tech that DS has. And I thought your presentation, which discussed all the applications in your office, I thought uh, was really uh, appropriate given the energy and the vibe and, and the new investment that we're seeing from a lot of our colleagues. So, you know, well done to you for that. Um, shifting, uh, you know, focus away from uh, the kumbaya and the applause that I have for you, well-deserved, by the way. Uh, what did you find most interesting and appealing about Prime Print? Um, so with the prime print, I, I think there's two things that really, um, so, you know, that really impressed me with the prime print. One is that um, you're going to be able to integrate it with the DS core workflow so that, that you're going to, you know, be able to pull models or pull information, STL files from a cloud-based server and send that to your prime print. Um, and you can actually um, queue it up and they, you will be able to queue things up um, from remote locations as well, which I think is pretty cool. And so your prime print could become the hub of a central laboratory. And the second thing that I, uh, you know, getting to go hands on and, and uh, being able to play with the, the prime print and experience its workflow. The other thing that I really liked about it was sort of that safety part of it. Um, if you've, if anybody out there has used the 3d printers, like you and I have, uh, you tend to get the stuff on your hands and, um, you know, it's the, the, the resin, um, I find, you know, it's like I get it on my hand and I, it's there all day. Um, and so you don't know how safe that is long term. So I've, I'm finding with the materials that they're coming out with and the way that the whole system basically runs it through, you don't have to touch anything all the way through the cleaning and curing. That to me blew me away, especially from a safety perspective for my staff, you know, um, younger staff, um, things like that. I don't want them interacting with chemicals. And so I really like the just that clean workflow. Yeah, and to further that, obviously, having fully polymerized resin with the uh, nitrogen flush that goes through uh, is good. You know, if you're doing night guards for patients or other appliances, having the confidence that that's fully polymerized ties really nicely in with some of the safety concerns that you've alluded to regarding your staff, carries over with patients as well. So, 
Yeah, I think uh, Prime Print was certainly a highlight. Uh, I had seen it before, so the novelty had not worn off, but um, lots of excitement and uh, interest generated around that. I think the DS Core and that cloud-based availability of all of the scans and tech and x-rays uh, is, is quite powerful. You and I uh, travel a little bit to teach, uh, and so it's nice to be able to pull that stuff up if something's happening in the clinic and you're in Toronto giving a presentation. So lots of interesting applications from that perspective. Uh, we were fortunate enough to have a few really uh, engaging and interesting guests at Densply Serona World. And so, Mike, why don't we wrap up the uh, in studio part of our podcast and we can just shift over to some of those recorded videos that we did on site and i'll let you um key that up and uh give us your closing thoughts on ds world 2022 perfect thanks vish um yeah and i'll just maybe for the listeners out there before we pop over to our two interviews is is the um prime print most of you have heard about is the new 3d printer from Dent Splice Rona that, um, you know, they've waited to this point to bring us something that meets in the same quality and the same workflow as, as their technology uh, is now. Um, you know, literally you can 3D print um, crowns, surgical guides, um, your models, and, you know, um, more to come splints. All these things are going to become much more um, seamless and, and easy to do. Um, then the, the other big piece with the DS Core for those of you um, that aren't familiar, the DS Core is a cloud, basically a cloud-based um, server for all of your images, data, uh, STL files, anything that you're capturing with your technology is going to be now stored in the cloud. So that gives you the benefit of, of not having to have all that storage on site, but it also allows you to quick have quicker access to your to your data. So you can you can be an op four doing a hygiene exam, and you can pull up the model of the patient from three years ago. Then you can move to op six, and then you want to see a different patient's model, and you can pull it up there. You're not moving your, your prime scan around. You can basically die, log into that from anywhere. So it does allow the workflows that you and I have been talking about, such as the hygiene exam, such as the you know with a hygienist taking digital impressions, um, case presentations using technology, it allows us to do a lot of that without having to bring the actual prime scan mm -hmm. into the room. And those are little pieces that make um, what the workflows and what we teach easier for everybody else to adopt because, yeah, you know, we're early adopters and we're, we're on the tech side, but I feel like DS Core is what's bringing everything together into one hub and makes the workflow for everybody else much easier to use um, more on a patient by patient basis. Yeah, and as you uh, mentioned, uh, easier for everyone, including specialists or other uh, practitioners that you might be communicating with. So yeah, that, that I think is a great summary of DS Core. More to follow. I'm sure we'll be having some dedicated uh, podcasts on Prime Print and DS Core in the near future, especially as DS Core gets unveiled uh, north of the border as it is really in real time right now. So why don't we switch over to the on-site videos and uh, we'll see all of our listeners next time. Right on. Thanks, everybody. Take care. Good afternoon, dental internet world. My name is Dr. Vishal Sharma and I'm once again here alongside my friend and co-host, Dr. Mike Parchewski. This is a special edition. You'll notice from the surroundings that we're not in our normal podcast office but we're actually on site in Las Vegas at Dent Splice World 2022. So it's been an exciting, very eventful weekend. Uh, Mike, good to see you. You're bright and blue, and I know tomorrow bright and early in the morning you've got a presentation, so uh, hopefully you're just as bright and airy uh, at 10.30 tomorrow morning. Good to see you. I'm uh, going to pass it over to you to uh, introduce our guests and to say hi to everyone. Thanks, Vish, and again, uh, welcome everybody to our uh, broadcast here talking about Dent Splice World 2022. Uh, definitely been a much uh, bigger vibe this year. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot more people, um, less COVID uh, overhanging us, and, and so it's been a great show. Very happy to introduce Mark, who is the manager of special markets uh, for Dance Place Serona here in Canada. Mark, tell us a bit about your role and um, where you're located. Uh, our head office is based in uh, Mississauga, yeah. but I'm based in Montreal, okay. and uh, I'm from Montreal as well. And um, 
Oh, and tell us about your role, uh, Mark. Like on a weekly uh, and day-to-day basis, what are you typically concentrating on? What's your role within DS? Okay. But the role was, uh, I started two years ago, exactly, and was to start the department, like the, to build the structure for the special market in Canada. And the, the main goal is to better serve uh, all the mid-market and as well for the large DSOs in Canada. Yeah. That's very uh, a broad uh, answer, but pretty much that's what I do. So we build program. Uh, for them, we make sure that they are C programs, um, the, the rebate programs as well, and, I, and I'm the main contact for all the DSOs in Canada. Yeah, and Mike That's and I obviously are both linked uh, to uh, DSOs, so uh, you work pretty closely with uh, our companies. Mm-hmm. Um, and so obviously, it's a really exciting event. We wanted to ask you what you're most excited about with DS 2022. What program or initiative has most excited you? Well. To build on what you said, there's really a good vibe this year. Um, the energy is there. And of course, I follow everything that we, we've we been launching this year. And there is one product I really, really like, and it's a DS4. So you all heard about it, I'm pretty sure. But why I really liked it, and especially for the mid-market DSOs, it's connectivity. And it's the way to uh, connect, obviously, all the office together and it's a, a great tool to build a culture, to share. And as well, there's, if you have like uh, your many, many uh, colleagues and some are better in, in one discipline than the other, yeah. so you can share. And as well for the younger dentists who will join your practice or your group, well, you can be a better mentor, I think, with this uh, sharing of information. So to me, I think it's a, not a thing, it is really, really a game changer for the mid-market. And have they been fairly receptive to uh, the concept? Because obviously it is, it is revolutionary in dentistry. We haven't seen anything like this before. Mm-hmm. How have those conversations been going? So far, people are really listening because, yes, they know that communication is important. And, of course, they want to provide, especially the owners or the, I would say, the most experienced guy in the group. Mm-hmm. They want to provide information, coaching uh, to, again, the younger dentists or just other dentists. And so to me, as well as uh, many of the special market, they're not necessarily located in the same area. They are in different provinces. So again, it's about connecting everybody. You don't feel apart because you have, let's say, a, a, a head office in Western Canada and you have some offices in Eastern Canada. Those people now can be part of that. And that's why I said when you, it will help building not only sharing information, but to build a strong culture among the groups. My, go ahead. No, Sorry. no, I was just saying, there's so many angles I see and <laughs> on stuff. And every day I'm thinking of something new, talking to you guys or talking yeah. to anyone. And I'm just so excited about this product. Well, I just spend time in a focus group centered around DS Core. Obviously, I can't reveal what we were discussing and, and going through there, but it's exciting. Lots of future applications and possibilities. Mike, I know that you're intimately involved in the training of some of the younger associates with the new organ- organization. So I'm sure the mentorship component uh, is going to be really exciting for you. Uh, do you want to chat about that a little bit and, and how you see DS Core and, and your knowledge of it working within that component? Sure. Um, and again, thanks for joining us, Mark. So the DS Core, just for, for everybody out there, is a cloud-based system. Uh, the Dense Place Serona has just recently launched, uh, basically launching at this show here. Um, and into Canada, um, by November 1st, will be fully operational. And what DS Core is, is all of your data from your CEREC, prime scan, uh, your mill, digital impressions, SDL files, prime print, everything that you're doing is going to be now stored in the cloud. Uh, very reasonably priced service, and uh, it allows you then to pull that data up from any computer, from your phone, and, and that's how that connection really begins. And where I've always found an issue is if we have to send a CBCT to another clinic, um, you're putting it on a USB or you're burning it burning on a CD yeah. and, and you're going through all those headaches and then if, it, if they get there and it doesn't work, um, you've got that trouble and there's that delay, right? How do you get them to USB or a Dropbox or how, however you're trying to find the file? With the DS Core, they're going to be able to, a specialist or another clinic or another dentist you're working for is going to be able to actually access that data, download it if they need. They can look at it right on on the DS Core platform, but they can also download it and then look at it fully in their like Cydexis viewer. So it really is a game changer in my mind because not only do you have access to that data um, yourself, easy to share the data, but you can also share the full file, uh, not just the viewer software, but they're able to access the full file. So, and then 
as, as you're now more aware of um, in some of your recent meetings, that create piece of the DS core is just going to get much bigger. Mm -hmm. And it's going to go into where you can order um, planning, implant planning. It's going to be where you can order surgical guides. You can order splints to be done. And, and then it's going to interface you back into the, into the prime print. So it is quite exciting, yeah. uh, that whole workflow. There's also the notion of uh, confidentiality. Because what you said, I heard dentists is, yeah, but I can send a file using WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. I can send uh, using Messenger. It says, yeah, but confidentiality. You say, oh, yeah, but it's encrypted. Yes, but when you said agree, when you sign to WhatsApp, meaning I can share information. So they can use, they are allowed to use your image for marketing purposes. And they will have the name of the patient, the date, and everything. So it's not confidential. And this is, again, this partnership with Google is extremely secure and extremely powerful. And it's got with the years to come coming I mean, are about to come it's going to grow evolve and it's just going to get better and better and better That's yeah exciting. it's an exciting endeavor mike great uh great summary of that and, and mark thank you for sort of adding the google uh compliance perspective which i know is a common question that would be coming up you know mark final question for you i know you've got a dinner to get to so thanks for taking a couple <laughs> minutes to chat with us how much of your time right now would you say is being spent spent on uh, ds core specifically on ds core yeah uh right, we're launching it but I would say it's 75% of my conversations. Yeah, good for you. That's it. Uh, and What's on the agenda for dinner? Where are you heading to? We're going to the water grill, water grill and okay. um, getting hungry as well. Yeah, well, perfect <laughs> time to uh, say goodbye then. And uh, Mark's going to go enjoy some o oysters for all of the viewers out there. Uh, Mark, once again, thanks for your time. Very exciting initiative. Pleasure. And uh, thanks for the information. So to all our viewers, uh, stay tuned. We have a couple more guests today. And uh, we'll chat soon. Okay, thanks everyone. Thanks. Good afternoon, everyone. We're back on site at DS World 2022, and we have the VP of Dental Supply Store in Canada, Mel LaCour, joining us today. Mel, welcome. Thank you. How has your show been so far? There's a lot of energy, a lot of excitement. We were just chatting earlier off camera about how it's just a vastly different animal, a lot of great improvements from last year. How has your show personally been? Oh, it's been fantastic. The energy here um, is incredible. Uh, I would say it's a significant improvement from last year's edition. Um, and with that, if you can excuse me, I'm just going to turn this down. <laughs> um, I would say the Canadian delegation makes all the difference to me um, and seeing so many people who made the investment um, to come here, to spend some time with us, to be exposed to our a lot of new products that we're launching um, here at DS World. So we're introducing the, to the Canadian market a lot of new um, innovations, um, DS4 being one of them. Um, I believe that you spoke to somebody from my team earlier on that. Yeah. So, um, so this is uh, this is very very exciting. So creating this ecosystem for digital integration of solutions, this is very exciting to me. Um, so it's limitless what we can do with this, yeah. um, and also having those um, those conversations about where do we take it next. Yeah, and I noticed like last year when we were here, you know, the air of COVID was still hanging over us and. And, uh, you know, there wasn't as much energy and wasn't, wasn't as much excitement. So I think I find it interesting that, you know, the vibe's bigger, but I also think the theme of this year's Connect um, is, has really come true here with the launch of DS Core and with Prime Print coming. So in my, in my mind, this is like a, a huge show because, you know, the, the whole environment now in the DS world uh, really is coming together. Yes, right? definitely. Um, as far as the prime print goes, uh, what's sort of the feedback been um, from people that have, have beta tested and used it so far? Oh, I, I think that what the feedback that we're getting in the simplicity yeah. of prime print um, and the fact that it's very user, um, it, it's enabling the users um, so much and um, no headaches, no worries, mm -hmm. no manipulations, no harm chemicals. Um, so it's very intuitive. So I think that we're introducing to the market something that is the next generation of 3D printing. Yeah, and I would say medical grade, right? Medical grade, definitely. For the first time, yeah, yeah. available in dental and, and uh, really targeted printer from that aspect. I obviously uh, have the uh, benefit of we talked about recently on the podcast of uh, getting some training at the Mississauga Training Center yes. a couple of weeks ago. So it's exciting to see all the buzz around here. And I had the opportunity to actually, at my mentor meeting on Wednesday, I was sitting next to a gentleman in, from Michigan he had the first prime print in Michigan. He's had it for a month. 
and he couldn't stop talking about it. I missed a lot of the lecture because of that. So, so now talk to us a little bit about your role and how you've uh, enjoyed being with Densply Serona now since I guess last year, hard to believe time goes by that quickly. Yes. And where you see at least the Canadian division concentrating and moving in the foreseeable future. Okay. Um, Stuff question right. I know, but that's why yes. we paid the big bucks. Yes, yes, well, yes. Um, well, yes, it has been a year. Um, it went by like this. Mm -hmm. However, I've learned a lot in that in that past year, um, obviously not coming from the dental industry. I have been um, on the receiving end of very generous people in the industry. So when they told me, you get into dentistry or the dental industry, but you don't come out, now I believe it. Now I buy it. So the, the, the individuals that make up this industry, amazing people. So for that's my Simona, my role, leading the commercial organization for Canada, um, sales, marketing, um, it primarily um, for, for the market, has been incredible. So I am fortunate because my team is remarkable. They're experienced, they're competent, they're credible and respected by our customers. So I can't ask for more. Um, so this has made my job very easy. And then do you feel that, because uh, um, of course, uh, Canada now has the Dance Play Serona Academy in Toronto. Um, do you feel that that has an, also had a real positive impact on just the uptake of technology into Canada now that people can actually come see it, view it, train? How, how's the Academy uh, been operating and what's the feedback been? Okay, so we opened up the Academy a year and some time ago. Um, so just as we were exiting COVID or the, the severity of COVID. So my observation is there's been a very, very keen interest in in-person programs. Um, so our classes are selling out very, very quickly. Um, so, well, you both know. <laughs> so we do put on a lot of programs. So we're putting the final touches to our program for 2023. And the count is over 300 wow. different programs that we are going to be offering. Um, so we have the capacity now to run simultaneously th up to three programs at the academy. So we wanted to create a hub, a community, a place where people can gather and discuss the next phase of dentistry um, and really empowering um, professionals um, into their practice. So this is really the goal is accomplished. Um, so now we have to think of how do we scale it and what's the future for CE, for Dance by Serona, across the country. So. And, and any uh, tidbits that you can share about that aspect? Because that, of course, <laughs> yeah. interests Mike it and I is immensely. Going to be, yeah, it's going, to be, it's going to be one of our key priorities yeah. is how do we try and replicate the experience that we have in Mississauga in other very of important course. parts of the country. Yeah, yeah, it's such a linear country. Obviously, travel is something that we all do extensively, yes. but there, there are some challenges with it as well. Um, you know, Mike and I can certainly agree. The Academy is fantastic. You do have an incredible team, uh, and I think all of the adjectives that you use, we would certainly uh, echo all of those. I know you're extremely busy, so thank you so much for taking some time to quickly chat with us about all the excitement, specifically to Dense by Serona, but Dense by Serona Canada. So Mike and I are thankful for that time. I'm going to finish with one final question, and it may be the most challenging uh, question that we pose. Mm. Uh, Las Vegas is a really fun place. And so obviously, you know, you can go out at nighttime. Mike's got a lecture at 1030 a.m. tomorrow, so he's going to be a bit behaved today. I, I'm going to try to be behaved so I can show for the lecture. Out of all of your team, who do you think has been the most misbehaved? And <laughs> please tell us who that person is. Thank you so much, Mel, for joining us. Uh, we'll get that answer off camera and we'll be back with another guest shortly. All right. Okay. Take care, everybody. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you both.